we have one problem actually basically if you look at the results it's 10 15 vectors here and we want one vector that's not good we have to make um, instead of conch we can do into results and then we get all our results in um, in one vector and then the the count will be of of the the total results not of the pages right so you can see here that's what we want ah space okay so okay now I'm curious to see something if I if I ask for the total results I should receive 299 as well so that's that's good and then I can do for example um, map original title full and then we have all the titles right so okay I'm satisfied with this we're going to do the loop recur solution because that's what uh, we have to to do if we want to avoid overflowing the stack. We have to do the loop recur style of recursion. We can do uh, find loop and basically same thing. But here I have the bindings of a uh, page page one. Results and then the same thing in here. And this is called the curve. Okay, so that's very, very similar. See if it's correct. Same thing, same time, same results. Yeah, so now you can you can compare, you know, like fine rec is the um, explicit recursion version scheme style and then uh, find loop the loop recurve version that doesn't blow up the stack you can do this on big long i mean on on a huge number of um, pages the only problem is that these calls are being executed sequentially that's why it takes so long when when we want to investigate war right because the war how many pages two hundred seventeen compared to fifteen but I want to show maybe that it's doable. I'm gonna time it. I'm gonna call this bar. Okay, so this finished now. It took um, this this amount of time. So that's a lot, right? Now I have 4,335 results and like for, for, 
example of the first one is this one, the last one is Dragon Ball, okay, anyway, um, and oh, right, it's okay, and count. So that's fine. The results are um, uh, correct. So we saw uh, the recursive solutions, the explicit recursion. We get a fan, a special construct that allows you to do recursion and mutual recursion, if I'm not, um, if I'm correct. Then the loop recur, classic um, way to do recursion in, in closure, but you know, people will tell you in closure we do the, we don't do it this this way. Some people will say that, and they prefer the sequence API. So we're going to do the sequence sequence API solution now, and um, it's the same kind of signature, but the body is very different. We can do a reduce. Uh, on on the on the range one to total pages. So here I need a function, right? Here I need a function, and here I'm going to to use the results and page and into results uh, and then the same thing here it's like really the same but that's what I need here with with the the initial results is an empty vector so find sequence query I'm going to the piece short and sweet let me first try with a small number yeah so total pages 15 so here I can do 15 and then I'm going to like this and it was six sec six seconds i think so we we should have the same all these solutions have the same performance characteristics yeah so this is same thing so now in the wall find sequence wall. Okay. Yeah, so very similar. Right? So now we've seen three three solutions, three implementations of the solution. So, uh, what what you prefer, you know, I mean, it's it's a matter of personal taste. It doesn't matter for me. Some people will say, no, you have to use the sequence API and blah, blah, blah. Sure, whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, but um, the interesting thing now is how to optimize those, um, those solutions. And, and uh, we'll see that um, there is something that is getting lost when you optimize, and that's the beauty of the code. Um, the simplicity of the code, because now you, you, you're going to do stuff for performance, and then uh, it's, um, it's a trade-off. But um, that's for next time.